U.S. Treasury yields are down this morning, but not really when you calculate the last couple of days together. See, cash bond yields are down right now. For example, the two years down 10, the five years down 12, the 10 years down nine, the 30 years down seven. But yesterday, cash bond markets were closed and the cash, or I'm sorry, the Treasury futures were open. So yesterday's Treasury futures implied that yields were down quite a bit more than they are today. So when you net that out, you really got a slight rise in yield. So for example, the two year fell 13 basis points yesterday. Cash bond yields are falling in sort of a catch up mode, but they're down 10. So that really means a net up three. And it's the same thing with like the 10 year yesterday, we had it down about 12 basis points implied by the futures curve move. And now we're actually down nine, so you're really up three net net. So that's the way to look at it. Yields are down, but they're not really down. They're recovering from yesterday's flight to safety. Stocks are working on their second day of gains. We're looking at the Russell up about 1.4%, the NASDAQ up about 0.9%, the S&P up about three quarters of a percent, the Dow up about 0.44%. Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic implied that rates are high enough on a speech earlier this morning Morning, but the safety move kind of contradicts a little bit what Dallas Fed President Lori Logan said yesterday when she said rising yields does a little bit of the Fed's job for them and now yields are currently falling. The NFIB Small Business Optimism Index fell further to 90.8 from 91.3. Expectations were for 91.4. Also, the Japanese EcoWatcher survey, both current and future outlook, fell into pessimism territory below 50. Above 50 is optimism, below 50 is pessimism, and they both fell below 50. So that safety trade that I talked about is actually slowing a little bit. Oil is a little bit of an unconvincing drop. It's lower by about 1% today, but it's not actually going back down and capturing most of the gains from yesterday. Tomorrow we get the FOMC minutes. That'll be very important given that a lot of the Fed speakers that we've had over the last few days have been implying that rates are high enough. And then looking ahead today, Fed President Neil Kashkari, San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly speaking, tomorrow Fed Governor Michelle Bowman and Christopher Waller. Earnings season begins this week uh, as we get in toward the end of the week. Nothing important today or tomorrow. Tonight we get the Reuters Tank and Index in Japan. Tomorrow morning, German inflation data, Chinese New Yuan loans, US PPI on those FOMC minutes that I just mentioned.